While many Zimbabweans who have lost their jobs decide to go to neighboring countries in search of greener pastures, the story is different with Henry Makombe, a former Econet engineer. Having worked for the mobile network company for nearly 10 years and was retrenched in 2015 when the company restructured, Makombe decided that it was time to start something new and different. From the comfort of a well-conditioned office, Makombe ventured into Koyo Riwuta Izikwaka farming, which had hit the country at the beginning of 2016. He joined many enterprising Zimbabweans who are facing poverty war on two fronts, drought on the other side, and the unemployment at the highest level in the country by turning the notorious wild coil birds into commercial farming. But the undomesticated small, black, white, brown striped birds have become so popular in the country and Makombe has turned his car garage into a foul run for coil production. He speaks to Zimdi ITV News. I've seen also that you are also into egg production of uh, the coal How much are they? And can you just take us through the process from here right up to the shops? Uh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, you know what, the coal, the advantage of uh, coil, it can take up to six weeks to lay eggs. So it lays eggs for two years. Okay. So what I do, I've got an advantage, I've got an incubator which carries up to 10,000 eggs when fully equipped. So uh, the advantage is that I pick up my eggs, then I put them into the incubator and uh, it takes about 18 days. That's the 18 process that we and I, okay, and I also helping other farmers in terms of uh, this project. Yeah, here and there, some farmers are coming for ideas. I can even sell day old chicks. You know, at first we were selling day old chicks at dollar each, but the price now has gone down. Some are selling ten cents. Uh, I mean, a project where you are putting some eggs into that tin. Can you just take us through that process? Okay, this one is a simple one. We are doing pre cooled eggs with my partner and uh, my partner Patel. What we do, we boil these eggs and we put some preservatives. Uh -huh. Then we put the eggs and the eggs can last for five to six months. And one can easily open the bottle and eat the directly. True to Makombe's words, the coal bed roasted meat is now being sold at popular places like Kwamereki in Warrenpakdi's high-density suburb, Pahuku in Breeside, Zindoga in Waterfalls, and Chikwana in Chitungwiza among some of the cities in Zimbabwe, and the bird is selling between $2 to $5, while others are eating the meat Others are consuming the eggs for different reasons with myths such as eating raw quail bird eggs enhance a man's sexual performances. is heard now and then among revealers in these popular places. Ah, uh, This one is uh, interesting. You can Google on your own. But the advantage I've got someone who came here, she was saying she was suffering from GP. And right now she she's eating the eggs and the the meat, but now she she's saying she's okay. I don't know how far she it is, but she can walk on her own. At first she was saying she could struggle to walk and something of that sort. And even if you Google on the internet, some are saying that it can cure uh, cancer, uh, BP, sugar, and whatever you name it. I've got my mother-in-law, she's suffering uh, from uh, sugar diabetes and she's taking these eggs and she, she's saying uh, the air condition has just improved. So we are trying, but right now we are doing it at a local scale. Yes, uh, maybe uh, to just draw you a little bit back again. Mm -hmm. uh, most farmers, when uh, the cool beds issue started in Zimbabwe, most of them rushed in uh, to join. But now we have seen most of them have stopped doing it. Again, with you, what is the secret behind that keeps you in the business? You know, the problem with uh, us, the Zimbabweans, 
if you want to introduce something, everyone rushes to that uh, project. So the thing is, uh, uh, some people have pulled out, but for us, we are trying to keep into this business of coal farming because we are getting a little bit of market from the these shops that are missing. So that's why I'm still on. You know the advantage of the coal. For instance, if you take one chicken, it's equivalent to seven birds of the coal. So in terms of space, you, you don't need a big space for the coils. That's why we are still on. Then the other thing is most of the, uh, the coils, it can take up to 20 to 30 grams per day. Uh, unlike the chicken, which can take it for few more. That's why I've decided to keep the coils. And uh, how much do you sell each bag? A bag, I'm selling it at a dollar each. How many are these? Uh, this is about uh, 500. So how many are these so far? Uh, this is 2.5. 2.5? Uh, yeah. To, to get a license to export this. So we are trying, but right now we are doing it at a local scale. Not to be outdone, our hotels and restaurants in Zimbabwe, we have now started including the delicacy coiled meat on the menu. This is Zimdi TV News. Thank you very much, Mr. Makobe, for your time. Okay, thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel ZimDI TV News and be the first to receive breaking news and stories making headlines and also subscribe to our website ZimDI TV News.com and never miss a story.